Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series on using the TPC Desktop. In this video, we're going to learn about what Traverse PC calls managers. These are views that are used to manage certain parts of the survey. Here we've brought up a uh, survey, and we're looking at the drawing currently. And I'm just going to zoom in here and expand this over. And uh, maybe we're finishing up this drawing and just getting it to look the way we want before we um, turn it into the county. And um, I want to do some work with some of the survey data. I need to put a description on a point or change a point symbol or whatever. And I'm going to do that through the appropriate manager. Now currently, I have the managers docked over here on the right-hand side. Those are these four tabs. I'm going to bring them over to the left-hand side just for a moment here by going to Settings. Let's click on the Desktop tab. And I'm going to choose a layout called Auto Hide Left. I'm going to recall that format. It takes just a moment for Traverse PC to move everything over. And I'm going to choose OK. So now I've got my managers over here on the left. Let's open up the Traverse's manager. And I expand it simply by putting the cursor over the Traverse's tab. And that manager slides out from the um, left hand side of the desktop. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just pin that and explain something here. Um, until I pinned this Traverse Manager, it was auto-hidden on the left-hand side of the desktop. Let's do that again. Let's unpin it. Traverse PC now puts that manager over here on the left-hand side. And I can open it temporarily and access the information inside it as an auto-hidden manager, or I can pin it to the desktop, and now it stays open while I continue to work on my drawing. I'm going to come back to my drawing view now, and in the view menu, I'm going to tell it to expand the view to fill up all the rest of the desktop that's left. So really what we're talking about um, with um, auto-hiding or pinning this Traverses Manager is setting up the desktop to be as efficient for me as possible. I've got some work I want to do on this drawing, but I also need access some of the data in the traverses here. So I brought these two views onto the desktop uh, together. Uh, I still have access to the other managers, like points, if I need to come down and check some information on some points or add some additional points, I can. But I'm primarily working just with the drawing and the traverse. Um, notice that I can access these managers from the obvious navigation toolbar here at the top. So if I want to look at the tasks, which is where I recall the recent files or bring up um, some documentation or some help for Traverse PC, I can. Here's our Traverse's manager that we already have pinned to the desktop. Here's our points. Again, I can just slide those open as I need them. I can take a look at the drawings that are in here. Back to the Traverse's. Now, the whole idea with um, uh, docking and auto-hiding the managers is to free up the room on the desktop to do the things that you're you're doing currently inside a Traverse PC. I'm going to just unpin that Traverse Manager. I'm going to come over and tell Traverse PC to expand that drawing view. So now I can work on the drawing using as much of the desktop area as possible and still have Traverses available through the Traverse Manager. Let's use what we've just learned about docking managers to take a look at some Traverse data instead of the drawing here. So let's put the cursor over the Drawings Manager tab. We'll double click a blank line and let's type in a drawing name called Boundaries. Tell Traverse PC we want to clear all tags and choose OK. Now we've just created a new drawing and I'm going to open up the Traverse Manager and tell Traverse PC that I want to look at this North Boundary, this south boundary and what we call the legal boundary. Okay, As I tag those, Traverse PC includes them over here in the drawing and we can come back and do a zoom extents to see all those together. Let's come back to our traverses now though and let's say I want to open up that north boundary traverse. So we're going to double click it. Traverse PC opens it. I also want the south boundary traverse. Now let's take a look at these two. I'm going to drag the North Boundary Traverse up here. 
or I'm going to put the south boundary traverse underneath it. And notice how we can easily switch between them. Okay, here I've told Traverse BC that I want to delineate the north boundary, and it outlines it in blue for me in the drawing. Here I'll do the same thing with the south boundary. I could open up the legal boundary as well, but you see how I have all of the desktop available to me to display both the Traverse data and the drawing representing them because I've auto-hidden the Traverse Manager on the left-hand side. If I had this pinned and opened, Traverse PC would have to move things over to make room to see those um, traverses. Because I've unpinned it or auto-hidden the manager on the left, I have the maximum desktop space available to work with just the parts of the survey that I want to. In this case, two traverses and the drawing representing them.